Okay, what will you do this week? Well, in this module, we're going to look at geologic time. And so when we talk about geologic time, we kind of have two main areas that we want to discuss and we want you to learn about. And the first is what we're going to call relative age dating. And so this is where we can put things in order without knowing their numerical value or their actual age or a number. We're doing things relative to each other. So, you know, it'd be like you say somebody is older than you. You don't know their exact age, but you know they're older than you. That's a relative age kind of situation. If we knew their exact age, then we'd be talking about absolute age dating. And so the two PowerPoints that you see here, of course, are duplicated in the videos here. And I want to understand both. And of course, they're related. So in a lot of cases, we can look at a sequence of rocks and put them in a relative order based on some properties of how those rocks were deposited and say yes if we look at the Grand Canyon the rocks at the bottom are older than the rocks at the top relative to each other but we also can take some rocks and actually use some chemistry and physics to get a numerical value and say this particular rock is you know 250 million years old and that helps me be more accurate tell a better story when I want to interpret the history of an area. I want to say what came first and then what happened and then what happened, just like telling a story. The more data I have, the more accurate my story can be. And so we want to be able to understand both the relative age dating principles, like what are the rules that we apply to put things in relative order. And then we want to understand how to calculate, at least at the very basic level, an absolute age and how that kind of works. And then we can put those together and once again tell our accurate story. There is another little part that I separated out that's related to kind of these dating stories here. And that is something called an unconformity. And that's just the idea that in the rock record when we're looking at the layers and trying to put things in order, we run across places where there's no record where the rocks have been destroyed or removed, usually through weathering and erosion. And so there's an indicator there that there has been an event that took the rocks away. And we would call these unconformities. They still tell a part of the story, and the story they're usually telling us is that there has been some uplift of this area. It has risen up high, probably from some plate tectonic event, a collision or interaction of plates, and so as we lift things high into the air, they don't become places where we deposit material. They become places where we remove material. And so then the weathering attacks that big mountain range and wears it down to nothing. No record is being recorded at that location because we're just removing stuff. But potentially as we remove it and it goes flat and low again, we can start putting new material in there. So you'll look at this unconformity story as it's related to the uh, dating story and then just like usual you have an article a video and a homework and so you can just kind of go through the PDF here and a little fun video about geologic time this guy explains all of geologic time in 12 minutes it's pretty fast and furious but it gives you an idea of geologic time and then for the homework it's just a combination of both absolute and relative age dating stuff so once again, it's in a PDF or a Word document format, so you can type on it or you can just write your answers on another document and send that to me. And so whatever works best for you, but here's the homework. There's an absolute age date question. There's a relative age date kind of puzzle to figure out and then some questions here. So you fill that out when you hopefully understand all the content. If you don't, of course, this is when you reach out to me and ask for some help. This can be a little challenging this week, these concepts. So certainly if you're struggling or you're unclear, just send me an email. Let me know what you're having trouble with, and I'll try to clarify some of that stuff. And then finally this week, of course, remember we have a lab. So the labs are still not clicking very well. This lab that you'll do this week is about geologic maps. So we're still learning about map reading because we're going to use that in future labs. But after this week, the labs will match up fairly well for the next five or six kind of modules. So when we do minerals, we'll have a minerals lab. And when we do volcanoes, a volcanoes lab and things like that. So that might work a little better for you. But for now, they're off just a little bit. So you just kind of have to hang in there until we 
to kind of get the both the lecture and lab topics on kind of point there. But that's what you got to do this week for geologic time. So yeah, if you run into any issues, don't hesitate to reach out and uh, we will, I will help you out with that.